an object dropped from a cliff fall with a constant acceleration of 10 meter per second square but it find its speed 2 second after its drop so first what is given here is that an object drop from a cliff fall with a constant acceleration of this so an object is dropped so remember when there is given that something is dropped the initial velocity will be zero so here u will be zero u is equal to zero meter per second and fall with a constant acceleration of 10 meter per second square so acceleration here will be 10 meter per second square find its speed two second after it's dropped so t given here is a two second so we have to find out b so b will be what b will be u plus a t so u is 0 a is 2 a is 10 and t is 2 so this will be 20 meter per second so this will be a now the next question is a bullet hit a wall with a velocity of 20 meter per second and penetrate it up to a distance of 5 cm find its find the dissolution of the bullet in the wall so first we will write what is given so here what is given is that first a wall with a velocity of this yani ki it hits a wall with a speed 20 meter per second so here u will be what 20 meter per second and penetrate it up to a distance of 5 cm so s will is 5 cm meter so first we will convert it into a meter so 5 centimeter will be 5 by 100 this will be 5 by 100 meter and it penetrate up to 5 centimeter so after that it must stop there so b will be 0 meter per second so find its deceleration of the bullet in the wall so we have to find deceleration means acceleration so for this we can apply the always remember the three equation of motion so that from that three which formula we can apply choose that so this will be v square is equal to u square plus 2as so b we know here that b is 0 and uh, a is we have to find we know s we know u so we know all the things except a so we can apply this formula here so b will be 0 meter per second square u will be 20 meter per second is square meter per second b will be zero meter per second sorry and u will be zero meter u will be 20 meter per second plus two a will be this s is five by hundred so here a comes out to be minus this will go this side or this will go this side in the so let's do it properly 20 will go this way so 20 square minus 20 square this will be 2 into a into 5 by 100 so a will be what we convert this so a will be this minus 20 into 20 into 100 by 2 and this 5 divided so this 5 into 2 becomes 10 and this will cancel this so acceleration will be minus 2 into 2 4 1 2 3 so this meter per second is square so this will be acceleration comes in negative so it's a deceleration so deceleration will be what 4000 meter per second is square and the next question is a train starts from a station and moves with a constant acceleration for two minutes if it cover a distance of 400 meter in this period find the acceleration so here given that train starts so start means what u is 0 meter per second with a constant acceleration acceleration is constant for 2 minutes so time is will be 2 minute so we convert it into second because here the speed is second or, or it's, we generally calculate a speed in meter per second so 2 into 60 this will be 120 second if it's cover a distance of 400 meter in this period so s is given here that what 400 meter find the acceleration so we have to calculate acceleration so we apply the equation of motion which is s is equal to ut plus half a t square so here u is, s is given is 400 meter 
u is zero, t is given, a we have to find out. So we know all the things except a. So we can apply this formula and let's calculate it. So s will be 400, u will be zero, t is 2 meter to 120 second. Let's skip this. Half a t is 2 minute and 120 second t square. So this will become 400 is equal to 0 into 120 0. This will be half a 120 into 120. So a becomes what? 2 will go multiply 400 into 2 but 120 into 120. Cancel this zeros. 4, 3, 2, 6. So 1 by 18 meter per second square and this will be what acceleration. So this is the full answer. Now the next question is a ship move with constant acceleration of 36 km per hour square. 36 km per hour square in a fixed direction. The speed up from 12 km per hour to 18 km per hour. Find the distance traveled by the ship in this period. So here this is given u. Which is what per hour and v 80 kilometer per hour and we know the a which is what 36 kilometer per hour square find the distance traversed by the c so we have to calculate s so which formula to apply so we know v u a we have to calculate s so the best formula will be v square is equal to u square plus 2 s because we know v we know u we know a we have to calculate s this is the only variable left so we put the values of this quantity in this formula so v will be what 18 square u will be sorry this is 12 12 square plus 2 a x a is given 36 36 and s is we have to calculate so we'll 18 square we move this from this side which is in 12 square then equal to 2 into 36 into s so s will be what 18 square minus 12 square by 2 into 36 this generally implies into so either we can Calculate 18 square and 12 square, put the value and then calculate, or we can also do it in simple way. Like you know the formula in study which generally in maths, which is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So we apply it to that. This will be makes the calculation easy. So 18 plus 12 into 18 minus 12 by 2 into 36. Which is 18 plus 12 is 30, 18 minus 12 is 6 by 2 into 36. So this will be 6, this will be 5. So answer will be 5 by 2. This will be 2.5. And unit will be what? S. We have to S is what S should be in kilometer because all the units are in kilometer. So the train will cover. I mean the seat will cover a distance 2.5 kilometer in this period. So that's it.